So take whatever the part is you want to be connected to the other part. For example, I want these teeth. And here are the teeth, it's just the regular shape. So the first helpful thing is to change this, the part that you want it to go into, go here, blending, and you can bring the opacity down. So now you can see through it and you can kind of see what you're working with. So next I'm gonna take the teeth and actually I'm going to go ahead and validate these so it's just one piece, pivot, center, pivot, that just brings the pivot in the middle. So I'm gonna hit solo, so now we just have the teeth. I'm gonna hit top, so we're looking at the exact top and I'm gonna use select mask with the rectangle. I wanna make sure that it's straight. There we go, something like that. But I don't want it on the bottom, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit unmask and unmask the bottom part. Let's just go select mask and invert and then take the gizmo Everything else is masked except for this, so you can pull this up a little bit and then you can taper it a little bit. So then I'll just clear the mask, give it a nice voxel remesh. We'll do 200. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth this out some. You can even smooth this out some. Okay, so then you have your little, your little notch there. So now, uncheck solo I'm going to change this back to opaque all right so now we take the teeth so we have the teeth I'm going to clone it and I'm going to hide it and then I want to take the body whatever the part you want to make it go into so that's dump for dumpling so now we have the dumpling and we have the teeth of uh, clone but the teeth clone is hidden. So now we use Boolean. So what Boolean does is it's gonna take the shape of the teeth. So now we have two sets of teeth. We have the regular one and then we have the one that we're using that's hidden. It's gonna take that hidden shape and it's gonna do a Boolean, which means it's gonna extract that shape from whichever other mesh you have selected. So it's gonna subtract the teeth from the dumpling. So Boolean, boolean boom so now we obviously we still have the old teeth there let's go ahead and hide the older teeth or well, not the tongue uh, let's hide the teeth and let's take a look so now we have this piece from the other teeth and we have the other teeth here and then everything is good so basically when you print it you just want to print this separately as an STL, print this separately as an STL, and you'll have the two pieces. So then when they print, you'll be able to fit them together. I did, I used to make the teeth a little bit bigger, the clone, so that it would fit in there easier, but I found that, and then if I need to, I can file down the teeth if for some reason they don't fit in there. So that's the only reason I didn't make it, make one thing a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, uh, but it usually winds up fitting pretty nicely. Uh, but I'll do the same, the same thing for the tongue. I might not need a notch, like a little notch for the tongue. You really don't need it for the teeth either, but uh, certain things you might want the notch. So I wanted to show you how to do it. You don't really need this. You could just kind of make this impression and then stick it up in there. Oh, the other reason I do the notch sometimes is because, uh, so I have something for my, when I paint it and stuff, so I have something to clip onto. Sometimes I make it a little longer so that I can so for my little clips. These things. So I can clip. Oh my God, I can't believe these broke. I'm going to send these back. <laughs> so I can clip onto them. And yeah, and I'll do the same thing for the eyes. So I can put them in there and the tongue. And that's how I make things uh, come together. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.